Is your fur baby dealing with digestive health grievances or even weakened immune system? Stay tuned for today's video because I will be detailing several very impactful ways for you to naturally heal your dog's digestive system and boost their immune system. This is episode number one of Talking Shit, a new series here on Natural Health Resources. We're gonna talk about your pet's health today. Stay tuned. So welcome to Talking Shit with Dr. Melissa Gallagher. Today, I'm really excited to launch this new series and I figured what better way to gently bring you into a digestive health series and what better way to kick it off than adding my sweet fur baby to the mix. But really and truly, Natural Health Resources and our content here just isn't for human consumption, but also benefits our pets, our houses, our environment. If you are new and joining us for the first time, welcome. I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher. This is my puppy girl, Mizuki Gallagher, and I'm a naturopathic physician with over 15 years of experience healing human bodies and also healing my pets from an assortment of ailments from parvo to even anal gland carcinomas. I first want to thank our video sponsor, Evolve. They provide awesome grain-free treats for pets. We actually use this uh, these treats in our household. And sadly, our crazy puppy Daisy got a hold of one of the treat bags and obliterated it. I don't even know when she did that, but Evolve has a whole series of great treats that you can use, and they have a real lot of really good healthy ingredients. So the reason why Mizuki here, my first puppy love, is on camera with me today is because when I got her, I adopted her from a uh, local really quite sketchy rescue group. And what I didn't realize is that Mizuki was the runt of her litter and she was the puppy that was really sick. And of course I didn't know anything cause she was my first puppy. And within several days of having her home, she started to have malaise and really awful stinky diarrhea. And so I took her to the vet and they diagnosed her with a very severe case of parvo. And if any of you are animal lovers, dog owners, parvo is a really, really awful, traumatizing, digestive, uh, devastating gut disorder. And it's a particular type of virus that can kill a puppy dog. And I feel like Mizuki came within hours of expiring. And I know that sounds awful, but I really, I was so devastated as my new puppy and she's the sweetest little girl. I just went to work as a naturopath to figure out how I could naturally heal my dog. I know a lot about herbs. I know a lot about homeopathy for humans. And I actually have a good friend of mine from Tampa is a holistic vet. And when I called Darla, she gave me a whole bunch of resources and tips. So I'm gonna share with you a lot of these same tips and resources that I've implemented in Mizuki's life. And then also the two other pups that we have, Mina, our flat coated retriever, and the newest crazy addition, Crazy Daisy, as Gabriel likes to call her, our, uh, our pit collie mix. Uh, she is wild and crazy and she also had some uh, issues when we adopted her. So all of our dogs are rescue rescues and each of them in their own way have come to us sick and quite imbalanced. And I've implemented a lot of these tips to heal them, but also use these in their daily lives. So first I want to share with you some symptoms that your pet might be displaying that indicates they have an imbalanced digestive process and also a weakened immune system. The first symptom is itchy skin or any type of food skin related allergy or reaction. Sometimes it's white flaky um, kind of stuff coming off of the skin. It might also be that they give themselves hot spots. They have a yeast buildup either on their paws. So their paws kind of smell and there's this distinct stinky paw smell. They might be licking at their paws a lot. And then also in their ears, our Mina has a lot of fur and our ears fold over. And if we are not on top of her digestive health and or cleaning her ears after she's been out playing in the dirt and muck as a water dog who loves mud, 
red clay mud here in Georgia, that's really fun, um, that yeast can build up in their ears and it can give a stinky odor. Also, bad breath and even dental issues are indicative of digestive grievances in your dogs. So next I'm gonna share with you four of my go-to daily resources that we employ in our dogs' lives. I will first tell you that with the two dogs, Mizuki and Mina, for about two and a half years in their early lives, I had them on a strictly raw food diet. So as life has changed, Brian and I bought a house and work's gotten crazy, we moved and we have a, a four-year-old now. That raw food lifestyle, I can't necessarily balance, but I focus on very key, crucial, essential raw food ingredients and organ and bone products that are very, very beneficial to the dog. So if your dog is eating commercial dried food that's being baked at 350 to 450 degrees and enzymes are being depleted and good healthy probiotics are being depleted, then it becomes important that you add in some of these items. The first item is to make sure that they're getting healthy fats. And we use a very, very clean wild salmon oil. This stuff is stinky as I'll get out. I'm holding this with this white cloth and a paper towel because it gets really messy, but it is highly beneficial. And I'll include a link down below. Um, usually your natural pet food store will have those ingredients. And of course, Amazon has the majority of these items as well. The second item that I always make sure we implement on a weekly basis is that our dogs have raw bones and really particularly that they're getting the marrow. That's the middle part of like a particular type of bone. This would be a center cut beef marrow bone. So this bone with all the marrow and I mean it, these are frozen <laughs> and I don't touch these. I, I wear gloves when I'm ever I'm uh, dealing with any of the raw food for the, for the girls. But these bones with the marrow, they're raw. And the key is to look for grass-fed organic manufacturers. This happens to be um, a brand called Only Natural Pet, and it's made in Colorado. These are great, and you'll find these at a lot of your natural pet stores in the frozen sections. And I'm even starting to see some of the chains start to have frozen items because a lot of us are realizing that when our pets are coming down with cancer or digestive grievances, we have to do something about that. So one of the things with our pets is they are carnivores. They are meant to be eating real live animals. And I know that's awful because a dog in the wild would eat a rabbit or a squirrel or mice, field mice, gophers, whatever animal is out there. They would be consuming the whole entire animal, meaning the skin, they would consume the organs and they would consume the bone. The challenge and one of the reasons why we see skyrocketing digestive issues in our pets is because the commercial foods are deficient and void of bone meats and organ meats. And so this next item, it is great. <laughs> it is chicken and turkey hearts. This happens to be from um, the same company as the bones. These are all frozen and they come in these little bite size, like little squares. And again, I use my gloves to handle all of the organ, the raw meats. This is highly beneficial for your dog or your cat because they're going to be consuming core nutrients, core iron. They're going to consume CoQ10 in these organ meats. They'll also be consuming enzymes, amino acids, and other minerals that will help boost and fortify their digestive systems. Now, the last one requires me to get my gloves on because I'm gonna show you uh, something that I consider have saved the best for last for you and your pets. The last one is something that I consider to be a powerhouse in terms of digestive gut healing. And Mizuki's gonna try and escape and go down the stairs and I guarantee when I grab this, she'll be back up here. This stuff is so disgusting. But this is a patty of something called green, green tripe. And it's hard, to, it's hard to really, for you to see it per se, because this is a frozen patty. But let me tell you a little bit about green tripe. And she's gonna be sniffing, I guarantee she's gonna come up here in a minute. Green tripe is the stomach 
from a grazing animal, like a cow, a sheep, maybe a goat. They're basically four chamber stomachs. And the benefit in its raw form is that, and, and you'll actually see in a lot of the green tribe, it's actually green because it's the grass that that animal's eating. So one of the benefits of your pet consuming green tripe like this is that it is extremely rich in digestive enzymes. It is extremely fortified with healthy prebiotics and probiotics. That's the magic of green tripe. And actually, got a little bit, I'm gonna give it to Mizuki right now. We call this, it's kind of gross. You look at it. It's kind of gross. I mean, it's, it's a stomach, it's, it's raw. Like the frozen version, this is raw uh, stomach. It's like crack for dogs. I'm serious, our girls go nuts over this stuff. And it makes a great little snack or treat. It's excellent if you're trying to train a difficult pup. And it is fantastic for really fortifying their system. And Mizuki's been eating this forever. Now here's the other thing I learned before I kicked off the raw food diet in Mizuki first and then when I got Mina, she went straight on it as a puppy because she was sick too. Green tripe is an excellent way to reestablish the digestive requirements that your dog's body needs to be able to break down raw food. So again, I'll take my gloves off real fast. If you do any of these raw bites where they're consuming hearts or livers or any of the organ meat, it's going to be required that your dog is capable of digesting that product. So green tripe is an excellent way to boost their natural capacity to digest food enzymatically, but also fortifies their gut to break down these raw items because most dogs are fed a commercial diet and that commercial diet is what is causing one of the reasons that's causing them some health issues. Now, one of the other things I wanna recommend is don't be afraid of giving your dog treats that are based on live fruits and vegetables. Mizuki loves apples. And if you're trying to introduce a new vegetable that maybe your dog's not really a fan of, like Mizuki doesn't like strawberries, Mina does. Mina does not like greens. And so we will mix in greens in the tripe and she's consuming really good, healthy, regular plants and raw food. Raw foods also are going to be healthy and beneficial for supporting the prebiotic fibers as well as the digestive enzyme your dog needs. So while I know a lot of people say, oh my gosh, no people food, no people food considering like the sad diet food you wanna avoid, but healthy fruits and vegetables are really beneficial for your dog because if they were out in the wild, they would forage on those items. Maybe I've inspired you to support your dog's gut. And I figured why not kick off our discussions about digestive health with dog digestive health? Because what I have found, I actually pick up more patients in the natural dog food stores than I have anywhere. This includes doing conferences and often people spend more time and money focused on their pet's health and then they will reassess their own health seeing some of the healthy changes that occur in their dog's lives. So, I'm really excited to share this content with you. Our next episode is going to be all about human digestive health. So I'm going to encourage you to comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, that's going to be really important for you to join our community so you're tuned in. And also YouTube requires you to hit the bell, but also turn on all notifications. A lot of you have turned on my bell. <laughs> that sounds weird. A lot of you have turned on the bell for notifications, but if you haven't clicked on all, it's apparently this new, a newer button uh, that, that's, as an, that's set up as an option and it defaults to not all. So if you are finding you're not seeing all of my video content, that's apparently one of the reasons. And we've seen a major decrease in viewership of our regular subscribers because they're not pushing out those notifications to you because you haven't selected it. If I could select it for you, I would, but they don't allow that. Again, comment down below with any questions about this particular regimen, but more specifically, I'm gonna choose your questions about human digestive health or the topic of our next shit talk. So stay tuned. Thanks everybody. I'll see you later. I gotta get all this junk off my hands. It's good, isn't it? We gotta give some to Daisy.
Mizuki, come here. Come here. Come here. Let me get a treat. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Okay, there you go. And squirrels, and I know all of our furry, sweet little friends. <laughs> Who's excited about some tribe? So this is Mina on the left, and that's Daisy on the right. And I'm gonna feed them their tribe. Sit. You gotta sit. You gotta sit. Stay. Okay. Stop. Stop.